friends. Today I'm somewhere really special. Today I'm at my church. I'm really excited because I'm doing a project where I'm going to talk to some of the leaders in our church and find out how and why they serve our church. Why don't you join me? This is Pastor Ken. He's the children's pastor at my church. Now, thanks for meeting with me, Pastor Ken. So the first question is, what do you do to help lead and serve our church? Well, Avery, as you shared earlier, I get the privilege, or I have the privilege, of serving as the children's pastor here at church. I love working with boys and girls, and my primary job is to work with kids birth up through third grade. That's awesome. How do you help others know Jesus? Well, Avery, that's really easy. Um, I just tell them about Jesus. Every time that we bring kids together here at church, we're always pointing to a verse or a group of verses in the Bible. Many, many times those that passage or those verses allow me to open up and just share how you would come to know Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. I usually start by asking boys and girls, do you think heaven is a real place? And most of the time they're gonna say yes. Do you think heaven is a place that, that I would want to go one day? And usually they say yes. And then I ask them, how would I get to heaven? And that's usually where it gets a little bit interesting. At some point after that, most of the time, boys and girls will talk about the sin in their life. You know, it doesn't take a child long to realize that they have a sin issue. And then I begin to share with them what the Bible says about sin. First of all, it says that all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. It says that in Romans 3.23. But in Romans 6.23, it says there's a price that we have to pay for our sin. And Avery, the interesting thing about that is, is that Jesus paid the price when he gave his life on the cross for my sin and for your sin and for everyone's sin. And so I talked with them a little bit about the price that Jesus paid and how Jesus loved them enough to give them that gift, but they have to receive that gift. So it's really an exciting thing. I really enjoy sharing the message of salvation with boys and girls, and I try to do that really often. Wow. Thanks so much for taking time to answer some of these questions. It's obvious that God is using you and our ministry here with the kids at our church. Well, I'm off to go talk to someone else, but thanks for making time. See you later. Bye, Avery. So this is Katie, and she's the recreation director at our church. Thanks for meeting with me, Katie. So my first question is, what do you do to help lead and serve our church? So Avery, I am the director of recreation here at Bellevue, which means that we have everything from sports and activities where you can get involved here in the church and where we also get to share the gospel with families who are involved. What is your favorite part about serving here at the church? My favorite part is getting to do something that I love, which is sports and activities, but having a spiritual emphasis. To be able to do something that God has has given me as a skill and a talent and ability and to be able to put that into practice and to be able to use that to share the gospel mm -hmm. it's one of the most fun things that I get to do. That is so neat. Wow well thanks for making the time to talk with me and share about what God is doing through the recreation ministry. All right friends we have one more person to talk to so let's go find them. Thanks Katie. This is Miss Cindy, and she helps out with the children's music at our church. Thanks for making time, Miss Cindy. So, when did you know that God was calling you to be a leader in the church? Well, that's almost a part of my testimony. I was raised in another denomination, and so as a teenager, I served in the church, but I did it for the wrong reason. I did it because I was trying to do enough good things to get to heaven. And there was a young man just before I went into college that shared with me that Jesus had already made the way for me to go to heaven and that I just needed to repent of my sins and ask him to be my savior and he would save me right then and there. So I did. 
And uh, so then I wanted to start serving the Lord because of what he had done for me. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's very interesting that a couple of years later, I married that young man. <laughs> and we joined a church, and um, I just dove in and started serving with children there. The Lord just led me to do that, and I've been doing it ever since. So last question, what is your favorite part about what you do here at church? That is easy, singing praise songs with my kids. Mm -hmm. I just love it. We just have so much fun and just enjoy the excitement of it and just the pure joy. It's like getting a sneak peek into heaven, I think. Well, well, thank you so much for making time to share this with us. And this was just really encouraging to me. Friends, that was so encouraging hearing from Pastor Ken, Miss Katie, and Miss Cindy about how they are following God by leading and serving in our church. Friends, do you know that God wants all Christians to serve in church? The Bible teaches us that God has given every Christian special gifts so that they can help share Jesus with others. 1 Peter 4.10 says, As each one of you has received a gift, use it to serve others as good stewards of the varied grace of God. Friends, what are some ways that God has gifted you? Some Christians are really good at teaching others. Some Christians are really good at encouraging others. Some Christians are good at organizing things and being wise with money. And those are just a few examples. Now, how can you use your gifts to help share Jesus with others? Those are some great ideas. If you like to teach, then teach your friends and family what you are learning about in the Bible. You can encourage others by telling them how much Jesus loves them. One of the ways that God has gifted me is by giving me a good memory. I can be a good steward of that gift by memorizing His Word and sharing it with others. I bet a lot of you have good memories too. Let's be good stewards of our gifts by memorizing 1 Peter 4.10 together. First Peter 4.10 Just as each one of you has received a gift, then use it as good stewards of the varied grace of God. Let's do that one more time. Ready? 1 Peter 4.10 Just as each one of you has received a gift, then use it as good stewards of the varied grace of God. Great job, friends. Oh, look, it's Mr. Harold. Hi, Avery. Hi, Mr. Harold, what are you doing here? I'm actually dropping a package off for the church, but I'm glad I saw you. I just dropped a lot of mail off at your house. It looks like you had some friends that wrote you. That's awesome. Thanks, Mr. Harold. See you later. See ya. Thanks for writing me, friends. I can't wait to read your letters. Maybe I'll answer them on an upcoming adventure. Well, friends, I'm glad that you could join me as we learned about how God calls church leaders to teach others about Jesus. Friends, who are some people in your church who teach you about Jesus? Next time you see them, make sure to encourage them and tell them thank you. And remember to pray for your church leaders too. I'll see you soon. Bye.